In this video, we're going to just talk about how we set up for um, ladder ends. I'm just going to do a full video. I've done some other little videos, but I'll try and do a full one now. So, first job is setting this truss up for the size of your ladder end. We know the ladder end is 555 and the soffit we're using is 150. So, what you've got to do first, hold your tape on the wall, 150, and then set that first truss up to 555 like that. So, you need you know your soffit size and the size of your ladder end and that sets up that first truss so that's first job and then you can just lift up the trusses and brace them like normal but what you need to do is leave this end truss just tacked on so all this all that last all this last truss can be moved so then we'll tack the soffit on the ladders and then um, and then we'll be able to move this truss to get it plumb with the wall So now we've nailed these on, um, you nail it on the side, if you're doing it upside down, you nail it on the side closest to the roof, because obviously when it flips over, the soffit will be facing down on the outside. Um, but when you nail them on at the top here, we always do this one, flush to that point, like that, so it's almost sticking past that a bit. And then this one here, get your square on that plumb cut, and then that and the top edge of the soffit hits that, so they sort of interlock next to each other when you've got it on the roof, if that makes sense. There you go. So that one's flush and this one's set back. Uh, and now we've done that, we cut some timbers at 1.2, which spans the ladder and over the first two trusses. So we'll nail them on to the ladders. We'll do three on the front and two at the back. Um, and then we'll get it lifted on. And I sometimes just put a nail sticking out of that middle point, especially if you're doing it on your own, because then you know once you pushed it up, Hits that nail, you're at the top point now. Yeah, we'll bang these timbers on now. So, we've got these three timbers nailed on now, ready. Um, and what I do with this top one, I keep it flush to the top edge of the ladder. And then when you lift it up onto the main roof, you keep that same timber flush with the top edge of them two trusses, and then you know it's all running, the ridge is all running in line then. Uh, yeah, they're purely just to keep it flat and all level uh, until the brick laser bricked underneath it, and that's the thing that holds it up when the brick laser have gone round all them timbers. Uh, another thing we'll do quickly was just plumb off for the uh, all the four so you just hold your level to the inside of the block. I just cut all them off, it's easier now, before the ladder gets in the way. And also we'll put marks on our rafters for where the straps go, because we've got to work them into course. So we just do a staff at 225 um, and mark them up now. Uh, so this is what I mean by the staff, we just got a little bit of wood with 225s all the way up, and then we just put a cross on the ones that we're going to use where the straps are because they've got to be within two meters up the roof as well so once we've worked that out we know where we're where they're going so yeah that's the easiest way to work it into course So now we've cut off all them 4B1s and we've also added the strap at the top so it's easier now before the ladder goes in and I don't know if you can see but we've got that nail sticking out the ridge it's alright now nailed up there anyway but if you're on your own that just makes it easier because like I said you can just buff it up to that so we'll lift that, that one up now and then bang this one up to it after
started pissing it down on Friday, so we so we had to go to the pub. But it's Monday now, so as you can see from that last video, we got one side ladder in, and then we plumbed plumbed the top up so we can nail all the four bronze at the top, and also the bit of timber that we had nailed across the top. So that's all nailed up, so the top point's right, and then we slide this ladder into it, uh, and then we can work our way down. So then what we do, we'll get this bottom bit right on that bottom four b one. Um, and then we'll just get it nice and straight there so it's not bowed and then that should also just be right in the middle with the level as well uh, so yeah so to get this plumbed up all we got to do is level off the brickwork to the back of the uh, of the soffit that's it basically so then the brick brick layers will fly through and just run up run up past that and then they'll also trap in the ladder as they go so yeah, we'll get that leveled up now. So we'd start at the two bottoms and then work our way up and making sure they're all sweet and then nail up all the bracings that we left at first truss so it's strong. That's basically it now, once it's all plumbed up get all your four bronze nailed uh, we'll just have to extend the soffit down to the bottom afterwards um, yeah and then we just do the straps like I say then we've got marks where it works into course and we've had to bring the straps out so they're all like flat basically for the brick layer so it just makes it easy easy for them yeah that's it 